right, here we are. Welcome back to another one. Today we are gonna be calibrating a Toro Spray Master. It's right here on the trailer. This is the intermediate and uh, we're gonna get some good shots of this. I'm gonna have uh, my uh, brother-in-law here, Asher. He's gonna give me a hand. He's gonna put the drone up for you guys. We're gonna get some really cool shots. I'm super excited. We're gonna get this unloaded. So stay with me, we'll be right with you. Alrighty. So we are spraying a Mechamine D here. Mechamine D right there. We're gonna go in and we're gonna find ornamental and recreational lawns and turf right here. So you can see we have uh, cool season grasses. We're here in the upper Midwest. We're in Minnesota. So we're gonna find that. And we want 1.1 to 1.5 fluid ounces per thousand square feet. So per thousand square feet. So we are gonna go and we are gonna figure out, we need to figure out our width of our spray. So I'm gonna just spray it on the pavement. I would try to find a place that's not in town where people aren't going to think that you're spraying um, chemicals all over the road. Uh, we're not spraying chemicals on the road. We're actually just spraying strictly water. Never spray the chemicals on the street. So we're going to mark off a spot. We're going to measure our width of our spray and then we're going to figure out how long we need to go to figure out how much fluid we are putting down on a thousand so let's uh get to her all righty so here we go a few important things so to get uh the best results out of this we need to make sure that our throttle is all the way forward or really close to it because that's gonna change your uh your pressure want to make sure that we're between like 30 and 40 that's where i get the best results um you can adjust that here on the spray master or the z spray by turning this in and out adjust your pump pressure so we're going to want to make sure that we're very consistent with everything guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the throttle all the way up and i'm going to put a spray on the ground and then we're going to measure the width of that So now what we want to do is we want to measure the width of our spray here. I'm guessing it's going to be close to about eight feet. Yep, it's about eight feet. So we're going to go, we're going to go eight feet. So we need to figure out how many times eight feet goes into a thousand. Alrighty, so now that we got that figured out, so you're gonna take your 1,000 square feet, since I go, uh, my, my sprayer band is eight feet wide, um, 125 feet times eight feet is gonna give us 1,000 square feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark out, we're gonna wheel down here, we're gonna wheel down a 125 feet, we're gonna put a marker down there and that's where I'm going to stop the sprayer. So let's get to that. We're going to mark her out real quick and uh, we'll be back with you guys. The crack to start at, I'm going to pick right here by the mailbox, the end of the driveway here. It'll be super easy. I'm going to measure off 125 feet and let's get to her. this crack so I am just gonna actually leave this here it's an easy marker huh now let's go back down here we're gonna um, we're gonna pick a spot on the 
on the tank, we're gonna have to run some fluid out of it to get it to an even number so we know how much fluid we're putting down when we're spraying. It's also important to keep uh, consistent with uh, our speed because that can also throw things off. So consistent pump pressure, consistent speed, and we should get some good results. We're gonna do it at least three times so that way we can be somewhat consistent with this because we could have a fluke or something like that. We wanna be very, very, very careful with these chemicals because they can do a lot of harm to the environment if not used properly. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is I shut the left side of the sprayer off. We're only drawing from this tank right here. I got exactly 14 gallons in here. So we're gonna use the 14 gallon mark. Remember, like I said, consistent speed and consistent pump pressure. We're gonna uh, go down and we're gonna see how much fluid we use. And then we'll do that, we'll do that three times and that'll give us how much fluid we're using per, per thousand square feet. And then we'll know how much chemical to use. Well, so after calibrating the machine, I came up with about a half a gallon um, that it was putting down per every thousand square feet at around that four, four and a half miles an hour. Um, so it says here, we're gonna use uh, 1.1 to 1.5 fluid ounces per every thousand square feet. So I'm gonna put in, I got 15 gallon tanks, so I'm gonna fill those up and we are going to put in, so I'd be putting in about, at 1.1, I'd be putting in around 32 fluid ounces um, for my 15 gallons of the uh, Mechamine D. Here's a adjuvant here, it's a sticker. Oh, sorry about that. It's a sticker, and this stuff is really easy to use. It tells you uh, how much to put in uh, per gallon turf and ornamentals. Okay, one to four pints per hundred gallons Or one to three fluid ounces per five gallons. So I'm gonna go a little bit strong. You're not gonna hurt your um, Grass with with this Just alone. So uh, we can go three fluid ounces per five. So that's gonna be about nine going to be at about nine fluid ounces in my 15 gallon tank. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. We're going to get out and spray. Hopefully I'll get some footage of that. But uh, yeah, that'll be on another video anyways. Just want to keep this one strictly calibration. Look at them beautiful clouds behind me. What a great God we have, right? Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. It's so important to note, it only takes a drop to kill a dandelion. So, likewise, it also only takes a drop to kill petunias, tulips, any kind of flowers. So just be very careful with them, around them. I'm sure you'd have some angry customers if you drilled their tulips.